I'll show you the duck's uh, testicles and penis. My name is Kees Moeliker. I'm curator at the Natural History Museum in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I'll show you the duck. In 2003, I won the Ig Nobel Prize in the field of biology for my uh, paper on the first case of homosexual necrophilia in the mallard duck. This is the original specimen, the first ever recorded victim of homosexual necrophilia in the mallard duck. Um, the Ig Nobel Prize um, is given to researchers who first make people laugh and then make them think. On, on the evening of June 5th, 1995, I heard a loud bang against the window. I looked out of the window and I saw um, a dead duck, a dead mallard duck lying there on its belly uh, with a live duck next to it. So I immediately went downstairs to the exhibition hall, came down here, sat down and watched the dead duck. Within seconds it, the copulation started. After about 75 minutes I had seen enough and I went uh, out to uh, collect the duck. And the, um, the rape took place there at the end of the building. He went on, even when I approached it, till about five meters. Then he um, reluctantly left his mate. Well, let me see. Well, here, that's my office. Yeah. There, the window that's open. Yeah. So I, um, yeah, it was here. Yeah, about here. Two meters. Yeah. Here was the... Uh, mm -hmm. Crime, crime scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I picked up the duck. It was dead, so no problem. And the, the other duck left, but didn't fly away. He didn't. He didn't want to move. Yeah. Have you seen the rapist later? No, no, no trace of it. The live duck mounted the dead duck. That's necrophilia. I looked carefully, and I saw both ducks were of the male sex. I said, "Hey, that's homosexual." Homosexual necrophilia. I thought this was something new, so I paid close attention to it. I went down to get my camera. To Do make you this think that the um, duck, when he was raping the dead duck, knew he was doing sex with a male duck? I'll show you the duck's uh, testicles and penis. Well, homosexuality in, in, in nature is, is very common, as it is in humans. So there is, there is, um, um, there is, like in mallard ducks, there is one in ten, one in twenty has homosexual relation or has homosexual beha behavior. Left and right testicle. But you know the homosexual copulations, they're quite rare. They're not, they're not observed that much. The yeah. penis. It's shrunk because of the alcohol. You said that ignoble is about studies which make you laugh and then make you think. Hmm. How about your study? What's the result of your study? Well, well, first of all, people start laughing about this because it's, you know, ducks are funny. When ducks have sex, it's funny. When they have some weird sex, it's funny. So it's all, it's all fun, it's all laugh. <laughs> I noticed in one of the, um, the articles that you flicked quickly through that um, one of the animals said that, well, was it the dead animal was in a similar position to the female copulating position? Have you found if that If you true start to think about, all well, what really happened there, and it makes you think about diversity in well, sexual behavior. That's, a, that's a, an interesting problem because it, it, it makes you think that um, Animals do not differ that much from humans, especially um, people who think, who still believe that uh, homosexuality is only 
limited to the human species when you uh, tell the story about the ducks. The live duck mounted the dead duck. They, they are surprised, they open their eyes, they start to think. And that's a good, thi a good thing, I think. Thank you for your attention. Uh, if you happen to know somebody who deserves an Ig Nobel Prize, or maybe you <laughs> like one yourself, contact me and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you.